There is this mindset that I see in the design community that's, that's borderline self-centered. It's as if the clients should feel lucky that that designer has chosen them to do the work for them. The designers are treating it uh, as a way to, to show the clients that the work is amazing and, and, and they should be wowed by them. But that's exactly why so many clients actually uh, do not value designers in, in a lot of cases because us designers are treating it as a transaction because we are making the work all about us. So as humans, we all make our decisions based on our emotions and our experiences. And often after that, uh, we rationalize it with some kind of data. But in order for us to remember any statistics or data or information, they have to be charged with some kind of emotion or some kind of a reason for why we should care. As Tony Robbins says, information without emotion is not retained. But when we are presenting design work, we are actually sitting on the opposite side of the spectrum. We are kind of showing our often emotionally charged work, which is extremely subjective. And we are hoping that our client will experience the same emotions and recognize the brilliance of our work. The trouble is, of course, that all of us have different experiences and therefore the reactions that we have to certain subjective things will vary and will be quite different. And uh, what we have to do as people who are presenting the work and presenting the, uh, giving the presentations, we have to ultimately minimize that subjectivity. So we have to strike a balance between the objective information and data and the, the, that emotional angle and subjectivity of design and, and art. And we can start to do that through the power of storytelling. So as humans, we love stories. We have been retelling them and connecting with them deeply for thousands of years. And stories help us to remember the facts and figures of those stories, but even more importantly, they help us to remember the reasons why those facts and figures were important. For example, do you recall the, the basic premise of why Romeo and Juliet's love was doomed? Or perhaps do you remember the reason for that clownfish, the reason why uh, that clownfish had to travel in Finding Nemo? Uh, do you remember why Titanic has sunk? So all of these things are stories and they help us to remember the facts and figures because they are charged with that emotion. And stories essentially help us to, to uh, connect and show those facts and figures in a way that appeals to the emotional decision-making bits of our brains. So a lot of these stories do use a specific framework or at least in, in a loose way they refer to the hero's journey which is a, a framework originally coined by Joseph Campbell uh, in the hero's journey and the basic premise of it is that there is a character who has a dream, a want or a problem. So um, you can show how things were introducing the previous logo or other work that needs to change uh, for our design context. Secondly, we, we have to introduce some kind of a challenge or obstacle that the character must overcome. That's part of the storytelling framework. In our design context, we can uh, think about that as a way to describe the challenges that uh, uh, we are facing for our project so that you and the client are both aligned on the objectives. Notice how even that word is objectives and objective and not subjective. Now, the third component is that the, the character is met usually with a helper or a mentor. Uh, with our design context, uh, we can think about that as a way for us to introduce some data, research and facts that has helped you to arrive at your design decisions. Now, the fourth component is usually some kind of a transformation has occurred for the character. And in our design context of presenting the work, we can think about that as a way to introduce the work by helping your client understand your design decisions. The key here is that your design shouldn't be about selling that work to the client. The client doesn't work you to toot your own horn or to, to show how brilliant you are. They want to come along on, on a story and on a compelling journey with you. So if you take them on that journey and you craft a compelling story, the client will have no doubt in, in their mind that the final designs that you present to them is the answer to, and the solution to, to the challenge that they're facing because they have been involved in, in all of those story points across the board.